Hello everyone, I am Kay and you are watching me play the Dot Hack GU Last Recode demo. I literally just downloaded this without without looking into it. Is I played a few Dot Hack games back on PlayStation 2, but I never got through one. Was it two? I think it was two. Well, anyway, Dot Hack GU Last Recode demo. Apparently, this is like uh, some old games. Let's see what this is all about. Dot hack GU. I've seen a few of the animes. Not the original one, though. I know it's about a... Um, about an MMORPG, basically. It was just called The World. And for some people it's apparently exactly that. The whole world. <laughs> well, MMOs, I, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, create that character, you bitch! So, do I just have no say in this? I want to create my own character, man. I think I just realized I've seen a. Uh, I think I've seen a. Um, like a review on this game. About how this game is. a bit darker than some of the other games or the other animes. Unlimited online game. The World. R2. A Dazzling Twilight Dream. Eternal City. Mac Anu. It's like the hub of this game, right? The place where you always go back to. After every successful mission. Whoa. You wanna finish that sentence or you just gonna stay with war. Hey, I just logged in. I don't know anything. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, I'm not on PC, I'm on PlayStation. Yeah, you two seem kind of shady, you know that? Alright, okay, yeah, I'm gonna trust you. EO 10's member address, I don't know what that does. Asta's member address, which one of you is his? Is which? ショートメールの I have to actually wait. <laughs> Select party. Alright. Form a party. Dude, you guys are already level 10? Choose our names from this list and then press X. Alright. Sending short mail, please wait one moment. And Asta is also left. Blade Brandier Edge Punisher. Jesus Christ, those sound awesome. Alright. Yeah, I thought as much. 
Enough with the formality. Should we go on to your first adventure? Oh, hell yeah! Head to the safe shop before going in on an adventure. Talk to the safe shop clerk and show safe from the menu to save your progress in the game. Uh, data cannot be saved or loaded in this demo. Really? It sucks. Welcome. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. But I cannot. Cool. After preparations are co complete, use the Chaos Gate to go on the adventure. Alright, Chaos Gate sounds awesome, and adventures... Just sounds great. Yeah, I figured as much. Players can use it to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. Just did that, but whatever. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields and dungeons are called areas. You can walk to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. Okay. These words determine the type of area, monster strength and so on. Alright, let's try out the world selection. Choose area word from the menu. Gotcha. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go to. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. Oh wow, cool, I have so many words to choose from. I have courageous, courageous, courageous and courageous. Also, courageous, courageous, there's courageous, courageous and courageous. Man, seriously, that's so many words. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Just courageous from your stock. You know what? No. No, I'm not gonna go with courageous. I'm gonna go with courageous. <laughs> the monsters in this area are just right at your current level. The items you can acquire will be just right. Alright, yeah. Courageous, engaging, daydream. Okay, you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area world? Yeah, that's a triangle, or I think it was delta? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now it's showing tri tri triangle for delta. Yeah, see? I was so right. So as you can see, we're all in the delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area, even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. Alright, then we're off to, to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. The monsters in this area are just right at your current levels. Yes! Let's go. Courageous Engaging Daydream. Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Yeah, looks like it. Is there no a story quest I can just pick up? Go ahead and press the touchpad. Yeah, I will, once you let me. Yeah, you won't let me just now. Alright. This is the area map. Mm-hmm. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. Okay, there's three altars and one beast statue here. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press X. Collect a number of symbol fragments, alright. This is our mission. Collect a number of symbol fragments required for this area. Currently in possession, zero out of three. Missions are basically... Um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open a treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. Yeah, I figured out that much. I suggest we first head each to each of the icons and open the treasure chests. No. This is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. 
Okay, now that we've confirmed where our mission is, let's be on our way. When Abasta, you forgot one more thing. Use this transporter to return to town after completing the area's mission. Okay, this time let's really get going. If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the altars are, just pre press the touchpad to check the map. Alright. Let's see. Looks pretty neat. I mean, I don't know anything about... that. Nice, we find an altar already. Perform a surprise attack by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen and pressing X when the target cursor appears. Alright, oh god, this camera is going to... Good, now press X for a surprise attack. Goblin Rookie. My sword fears nothing. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Yes, and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Cool. Approach an enemy and hit X repeatedly. Alright, that I can do. That's easy. Hey, you're not too bad. Yeah, I can press X a bunch of times. That's so difficult, huh? Hold down X and release it when the gauge is full. Charge attacks are effective even against enemies that are guarding. Alright. Boom! Ho 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 ho! Yeah, keep it up! That's it, just continue fighting like that. My guard items menu. Alright, okay, let's go. Let's hold that button and just miss the enemy outright. Oh, come on, I'm, I'm in deep shit with these enemies, and you just go in, hit him twice, and he's done. So that's it, huh? Well, at least you only get like 18 experience. And I get free GP. Three great penises. Sometimes the treasure chest on top of the altars will contain symbol fragments needed to open the beast temple. Remember to search the treasure chest after defeating the monsters around the altars. Collect three symbol fragments by opening all the treasure chests on the altars. The symbol fragments are fo used to open the temple gate. Search the treasure chest on top of the altar. Alright. Symbol fragment. Acquired the first symbol fragment. Head for the next altar to the east. Check the map for directions. You know what? I don't need the map. I know where East is. Jeez, woman, I don't have to f ask for direction. Alright, we found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Perform a surprise attack by approaching the ones around the altar without being seen, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. They're all looking away. Surprise attack! Boom! <laughs> the regular and combo, att combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Skills are powerful attacks that require SP, skill points, to perform. Press triangle to open the main menu and select skill to open the skill list. The skill trigger is a shortcut for performing skills. Press R1 to open a skill trigger. <laughs> menu. Alright. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. I see I've got a whole lot of options here. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. I try it out by using the art Gale Blade. You know what? I'm gonna use Gale Blade instead, I think. Or maybe I'm going to use Gale Blade. I don't know. Gale Blade it is. Boom! Alright, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, Yota? There's an even more important use for the skill trigger. More important than freezing the enemies in place? Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, use a skill attack when an enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring. It appears when continuously inflicted with damage. Attack the enemy unit until it's surrounded by blue and purple rings. Alright! Alright, press R1 to use the skill trigger now. Rengeki finish! Gale Blade! 
favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used for other con or other conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite action vary with each party member. There you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? It's a good idea. Alright, Haseo, it's up all up to you now. Trigger gauge will appear above the player's head when the skill trigger is used. It is not possible to use items or skill until this gauge fills up and R1 appears. Ouch. Screw you, buddy. Alright, I know what I have to do then. Just beat up this guy. And use my Gale Blade to finish him. Boom! Well, thanks, that wasn't very necessary, but I appreciate it. Not bad, Rangeki bonus. Oh, I get more experience, that's cool too. Yeah, do the same thing you literally just did a second ago. Second symbol fragment. I know how this works now. <coughs> So, anything else you want to tell me? This is the final altar. Remember what Yotin and Asta have taught you and acquire the item inside the treasure chest. Alright. First of all, I'm gonna sneak up to them and surprise them. <laughs> My swords fear nothing. By the way, that's a pretty amazing design for a level 1 sword. No, seriously, I like it. Wait, that was it already? Alright. Level up. The symbol fragments have started to shine. The symbol fragments joined together. Judge's symbol. Alright, and that thing opens. Yeah, awesome job. Thank you. Alright, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I don't need to, I know where to fucking go. There's literally just one way I can even go. Seriously. I just found out how first person works. <laughs> See, I can literally only go this way. That's all there is to it. Alright, so do we enter an, a dungeon now or something? Ooh, this is looking sweet. And since there's a cutscene here, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. This is a statue of Falset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue, but I think in the game's story it's supposed to be an important god or something. Do you not listen to the story? Jesus, I don't want to hang out with you anymore, you know that? You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside. After that, you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it. You sure? Go ahead, you're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Well, thanks, you don't need to just say it outright. Dry sash. Is that good? Is that bad? Does that do anything? <laughs> yeah, I kinda knew something like this was going to happen. The items in the treasure chest are your reward. Yes, and our reward is you. <sighs> the fuck are you talking about? I'm literally just level two. I thought you said I could kill this one, don't you remember? After all, this is my reward. Uh, dude, this is just a game. You do realize that you can actually just respawn, right? Uh, 
Uh, she's way faster than you. But still, you can just respawn after you die. It's not a big deal. <laughs> nice try, dear. This is where the window pops up to respawn in the nearest city. What do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? I swear, just pretend to be their friend and they fall over themselves. So to let you PK them. Well, yeah, I didn't respawn yet now, did I? Also, I didn't realize I... <laughs> didn't realize I logged in to a PvP server there. No need to be so dramatic. This is literally just a game. And I'm not like dot hack. It's just a game. No, the world, the game inside the game is literally just a game. Oh my God, I just realized it's a game within a game. It's Gameception. Gonna use a phoenix down on me or <laughs> gotta love that English. <laughs> Welcome to the world. So eight months later. Oh and here I thought this was just going to be the end of this demo. So, did you level up some more in these eight months, or did you not log into the game? <laughs> so, were those NPCs or players, or? Am I just missing something? Dot heck, G U. <laughs> Kick her in the back, will you? The terror of death. Say or the PKK. Is that the player killer killer? Seriously, why do you guys have to be so overly dramatic? Literally, it's just a game. MMORPG, yeah, sure, but still a game. Well, I guess you did do some leveling up, huh? Nice try, dude. Okay, so you have three different types of weapons. 
First you're gonna do a wheel, then you're gonna whip out a freaking scythe, which is, which is fucking awesome, by the way. And now you've got a great sword. By the way, this is a little bit too much cutscene and too little action for me. Surprised I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Let me apologize, just take it easy, calm down and let me grab my weapon behind my head. Behind my back, I mean. You can literally just log out. No, I don't know Triage. The legendary PK shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. The Great Bordeaux. You know what? I like torturing people, apparently. Yeah, I think I can. I can kill you in an MMORPG. <laughs> Serious business. Volume 1, Rebirth. So is it going to be more action, or is this just it? To be honest, though, I pretty much expected this demo to just end when it did. Um, uh, wh when this... So, it's you. You. The character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK Haseo. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world and... But it is right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them. I don't have time for this. No, no. You have no authority and it earns you nothing, so why? I'm the leader of Moon Trees Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki. And I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Dude, you were pretty much killed uh, when you first logged into this game and now you feel like the boss. You know, you're pretty much a standard MMORPG player. いや、アトリ。君の知り合いなのかいいえ。アトリ。ネットゲームで同型のPCに暗号が別段珍しいことではない。本田人違い。いや、you <笑> Down to a hidden forbidden waterfall, waiting at Arkhorn. All of these words, me, uh, names, ne mean, mean nothing to me. <coughs> uh, take your hand off me. Okay, 
The fuck do you mean? You can just get race or something like that. Whenever you die. Okay, so is this Delta Hidden Forbidden Waterfall? Yeah, that's the guy who saved me the first time I was killed, I guess. Maybe you should shut up. You're quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Yeah, obviously it's been eight months. ま、<笑> そう、トライエッジに切り捨てた死のは二度とここに戻ってはこなかった。リアルの死ののプレイヤーは意識を失い、未だに原因不明の昏睡状態だ。Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cutscene. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Okay, cool. This sounds like a game that I would actually play in my free time. But hey, I just love these RPG types of games. So... More cutscene. Got it. Cool. And here I thought I could just... Yes, still more cutscene, Jesus Christ. Seriously, I have no idea about the story here. Literally just, I get killed. Next thing I see, eight months later. That was literally it. What? 
feel like I've heard of Aura in the anime. Why do you have to be so overly dramatic? Seriously. What's that sound? It's an alarm clock. You need to wake up. Uh, I know this guy. I don't know why he would go around killing players, though. Man, this game is freaking edgy. This is edgy as shit. Yeah, next weapon. <clears throat> I think that's just gonna work magically. Dude, this is a scripted event you cannot win. <clears throat> no matter how strong you are. Damn zombie, you know. <laughs> yeah, I still got one weapon. I can actually break on you. Data drain. So I feel like I was right about this guy. And that explains why people just get into a coma after getting killed by him. I mean, I say explain, but really it doesn't at all. Thank you for playing. Five minutes of gameplay, fucking twenty minutes of cutscene. All right, that's the end of the demo. That's pretty neat, and I feel like I'm actually gonna buy the full game. I'm not gonna do a series on it though, but it was awesome. If you want to check it out for yourself, uh, it's on the PlayStation Store for free. Anyway. Check it out. See you next time. Bye-bye.